I have really good cooks and I think that the direction of our food is definitely more on like the modern feel. We don't mask ingredients, we more enhance them rather than like dousing it in soy sauce or you know like like that. Like there's there's nothing the matter with that, don't get me wrong, but like that's like my philosophy is more so like highlight what we have and and Southern California is one of the places that's like, you know, we have everything out of reach, right? I guess when, when, when I conceptualize a dish, one of the things that I like doing is kind of like, I know it's kind of cliche, but like deconstructing a dish in, in, in a matter that, that hasn't been done before. And that's definitely like one of my MOs, that and like taking <clears throat> comfort food and throwing a twist on it. And I think that when you use both of those together, you kind of get like this creative, fun, funky little, dish that still has all those flavors of what you, you want to get out of it, right? And I think that as a diner, like you look at it and you're, you, you, you kind of like, like, how do I eat this, you know? But then you, you get into it and you take a bite or two and you're like, oh, just, you know, eat it how you want, right? <laughs> all right, so today I'm going to be doing a corn soup, a play on corn soup, which is um, like Mexican street corn where you get the, uh, the mayonnaise and the cheese and the chili spice. So we're gonna do that in the soup form. First off, I'll go into the corn. So I'll lightly uh, butter the corn. I just use regular palugra butter and um, I let it come to uh, room temperature so it's easy to spread. And then I'll put a little bit of uh, house-made Mexican spices like a tahine. So there's probably seven different spices, salt, brown sugar, sugar in this. Season that up a little bit with that. And then I'll add a little bit of extra salt. I'm gonna put it over here on our grill, or as we like to call it, it's, it's like our hobo hibachi. And we'll let that go there until each side gets nice and caramelized. And then for the bell pepper, I just toss this in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And with the bell pepper, I wanna get that really charred to bring out the sweetness. I'll put them on a low flame and we'll let them go for a while. Generally takes the, the bell pepper probably about 20 minutes and the corn takes about 10. Then. After the bell pepper is nice and charred, we put it into a, a pan here and then we cover it with foil or with a plastic wrap and it basically steams it. And then we'll take off a little bit of the excess burnt part and we'll keep some of it on because I think that the flavor from that is, is pretty unique in itself. And then from there, we get, we'll dice up the bell pepper, mix it with the roasted corn and then we get a corn salsa. Also with this dish, I like to do fresh popcorn. So I just, I do it really old school, you know, a little bit of, um, blended oil and uh, Orville Redenbacher popcorn. And then just like mom used to cook it, right? In the pan, the olive oil and the kernels at the same time. So we'll just let this go and then cover the top with the pan. Okay, so I'm gonna get some salt, we'll season that up. All right, so I'm going to start putting the dish together. To me, right now, corn soup or corn is at its, its purest point. It's really sweet, so you don't really have to add any sugar to it. It pretty much speaks for itself. I think right now, like the white corn is, is really sweet. You could also get yellow corn, so we use a little bit of both in this. So we do a table side pour of this because I like to, um, I like to plate the dish and kind of give it like a visual sensation. The first, the base of this component is a tomatillo aioli. We season it with a little bit of lime juice, lime zest, and salt. So we'll take this and we'll put it right at the base. And then this is our bell pepper puree. We use these bell peppers here for two different reasons. We'll use them in, in our um, salsa here and we'll also take the ones that are cooked a little bit further. We'll peel everything off and we'll get a puree out of it. And we'll put this right at the bottom. Then we'll take our salsa that we were talking about earlier with our corn and our bell peppers here. And then we'll just put a nice dollop of that down in the middle. Cotija cheese. We'll add some popcorn. I'll take these kernels and I'll break them down a little bit because I'd rather, I, I want everything to be more of like a mouthfeel than have one big bite of popcorn, you know? Pea shoots, pea shoots to me are just like that sweet flavor, um, a little bit waxy. They also have like a, a, a unique look to them. And we'll add a little bit of this brown butter powder, season it with a little bit more of that tahini, and then the corn shoots. So there's the corn soup. And then what we would do, we would come in and we would pour this table side. It's gonna go right down in the middle. There you go. Corn soup.
I think that when you come to dine here, it's it's almost like an unexpected thing. You know, during the day we do sandwiches and and we're doing like like off cuts of meat and like we're getting sashimi grade fish. But then at nighttime you, you come in and the lights turn down. You walk in and it looks very diner esque, um, very minimalist. But then you get a service that's you know table side pour is great wine. Coming in here, you 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 feel like you're stepping into someone's home. You know, I, I think that we. We, we have this like casual setting, but it, it's it's kind of like tightened up to where it, it feels like nothing's really skipped a beat. Like you don't you don't have like that that pretentious feel of like the over pressure of like buying the extra wine or the upsell on like caviar. I mean, I'm not knocking any of that, but that's just like that's kind of like what we've created here. I think it's it's really worked for us. Hi, my name's Philip Pretty. I'm the executive chef at Fundamental LA, and I've been cooking for about 10 years. Hey guys, I'm Katie, here at The Hundreds Home Base. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and see more exclusive videos down below. And check out thehundreds.com, covering the latest and greatest in street culture from around the world.